Behold, blue jeans, but where did they come from? Meet Jacob Davis, born in Latvia in 1831, and Levi Strauss, born in Bavaria in 1829. Jacob Davis migrated to the United States in 1854. A tailor by trade, he eventually settled in Reno, Nevada. One day, a customer asked him to make sturdy work pants for her husband, who was always mm. wearing them out. Jacob had a bright idea. He grabbed some copper rivets lying around in his shop and affixed them to the areas of the pants that tended to strain the most, the pockets and the fly. The riveted pants were a hit. Jacob quickly realized that he needed a business partner and a patent to protect and capitalize on his innovation. So he contacted the businessman who sold him the fabric, Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss's family emigrated to America in 1847 and set up a wholesale dry goods business in New York. Lured by the California gold rush, Levi sailed to San Francisco and set up a store of his own in 1853. In 1872, Strauss received a letter from Jacob Davis detailing the success of his riveted work trousers and asking him to share the costs and benefits of a patent. Levi agreed to the partnership, and on May 20th, 1873, the men received their patent. Jacob moved to San Francisco to supervise the manufacturing process, and they started producing work pants made out of brown cotton duck and blue denim. The waist overalls, as they were called for years, quickly became popular. Originally associated with working men, jeans came to symbolize American cowboys, rebellious youths, and fashionable women over the following decades. By the 1960s, they had acquired their modern name, jeans, and they were fast becoming a global fashion phenomenon. Today, people of all ages, occupations, and nationalities wear jeans just about everywhere.